It's been at least two minutes, not even a minute. What can I say? It's been what, a year? Wow. I haven't been away from YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube, but I've been away from the channel and I've been away from you guys. So let's jump back where we left off. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Leo back here for yet another video. I know it's been a while and I apologize for that, but we have a cool video today and I think it's gonna help some of you budget friendly solution people again because that's what this channel is about. So as you guys know, we built this channel on budget-friendly solutions for street photography and filmmaking. And today is gonna be another one of those videos. And as I've seen, one of my most popular videos on my channel is the street photography camera series that you've never heard of, which we're now gonna change into a new series called The Cheapest. So episode one, The Cheapest, was about the Panasonic GM1, which was awesome, success, and everyone loved it. Hopefully everyone loved it. Loads of people liked it. And today is gonna to be episode two about the mystery camera. But before we talk about the camera and what it is, we're gonna go straight to central London where I spent last weekend taking photos with this camera. And I had another camera in my bag. I had my X100V, but I didn't even want to use it because I enjoyed using this camera so much. It's such a fun camera to use. So if you're interested to know what it is, stick around, check it out, and we'll talk about it a bit more later on. So without further ado, let's uh, jump straight into the weekend trip in London. So this is the camera, the Canon IX US 70 or IS 1000 or 700 or something like that in States, not quite sure. But this is a cool, small point and shoot camera with a viewfinder, may I add, that was made in the early 2000s or the late 2000s. I really should be doing more background history research on these cameras because I really just jumped straight into them when I get excited about something. I don't even research it. I'm just like, hey, look, it takes cool pictures. But yeah, I shot all Saturday with this camera in central London and the results were obviously what you just saw and tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Is it a cool camera? Is it something that you could use? Is it something that you could use as your everyday daily shooter? You know, it looks really cool. Like it looks super clean, super neat. Um, and the viewfinder works really, really well, surprisingly. And it has a built-in flash, it has all that good stuff and everything really what a camera needs, especially if it's a very casual everyday camera. It's not gonna blow away in terms of dynamic range. The moment it starts getting a bit dark, pictures fall apart completely. But 
I would say this is for the everyday walkabout. If you're going around town, around central, or on holiday, and the lighting's good, so probably from morning to afternoon, middle afternoon, I think that kind of like range of lighting will be optimal for this camera. It's a really fun camera and great camera to use. Is it gonna be replacing your X100V, your big Nikon, your Canons? Most likely not, because this hasn't got everything that you need, but if it's gonna replace your smartphone, because let's be real, smartphone cameras are getting a lot better and the quality is getting great, but I don't know about you guys, but I hate taking photos with my phone because this ergonomics and everything just doesn't work with me and I don't like it. Having a dedicated camera for that use always works, especially on this size. Like it literally hides behind my hand. You can't even see it. And it can fit into any pocket. And it has a three times optical zoom, which is always a bonus. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Um, is this camera something that you're interested in picking up? Um, I got this particular camera for like 25 pounds and it was, personally, I think it's been a great purchase. I lasted the whole day on one battery and literally I have half a battery left. So it beats the GM1 in that sense. But yeah, really fun to use, really awesome little camera. Let me know if you're gonna pick it up. And if you do, let me know in the comments below. Tell me where to find you guys with your ads and I'll go and check out the photos or tag me on Instagram and show me the results that you get. That's been the Canon iXUS 70. Is this the cheapest street photography camera that you've never heard of? Let me know in the comments below. But again, it's absolutely great being back on the channel, back on YouTube, back on the grind. Um, I have missed it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I've had so many times where I really wanted to make a video. I have backlogs of footage that I've just never edited. But today, now, we're gonna put this out and we're gonna be consistent going forward. Bring some great content your way and let's get this community strong and back together and start sharing photos of everyone. I think that's the great part of this journey. Everyone kind of just getting to know each other and sharing their photography journey. For those that are in London, I host a street photography meet. Uh, we're gonna be jumping back on that. So if anyone is around the London area, keep an eye out on my Instagram page or the community page on the YouTube and I'll be posting all the updates on there. And if you wanna pop down, say hi, take some photos, let me know in the comments below or just let me know in general. But yeah, it's great being back, I'm not gonna lie. So it's good to see you, good to see you too. And you behind, yep, yeah, you too. I know you don't watch my channel, but it's good to see you too. And I think, I think that's all I got for you today. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, share it to whoever you think may find it useful. And because it's a cheap camera video, probably a lot of people will find that really helpful. <laughs> oh yeah, hit that notification bell because it's the coolest thing to do. It's been a year, but yeah hit that notification bell because it is the coolest thing to do. As always, and a long time coming, keep creating, keep doing what you love, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. I'm gonna sign out with my phone. Bye.